Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the do-it-yourself water ram check valve or waste valve. And here it is in all its glory. Uh, it works awesome, but uh, I'm going to show you how I put it together. I'm sure there's a lot of other ways you could do this. This is the best way that I found so far. Um, to start with, we have one half inch poly pipe uh, barb fitting that goes in the top of this three quarter to one half inch threaded coupling. And this is what helps stable up your all thread as it's going up and down, what I call your valve. Uh, I didn't have any three quarter inch PVC pipe, so I'm using this gray pipe, uh, same thing. What you do is this is where you're going to drill your wastewater holes. And when you drill your wastewater holes, what's great about this, if you've ever used the copper check valve, you know the water just kind of goes everywhere. Well, you can put your wastewater holes away from where you're going to be standing or working on the water ram, and you don't get wet. So that's another great thing about this little water check valve. Uh, we go down to one and a half to three quarter slip both sides this slips into the main part of our water check valve water ram check valve which is a one and a half inch repair coupling i've never actually used one of these in real life experience but i'm using it for this and the reason i'm using it for this is because the shaft down through there is just a nice smooth wall it doesn't uh, have anything for the valve to actually get caught up on and you have to be able to get in and work on your valve. And this is somewhat like a union where you can just spin it off and pull that valve right out of there and work on it. It does slide up and down. Don't let that scare you. I haven't had any troubles with it yet. Uh, you just push it all the way to the bottom or at least even with that lip right there and put the top on and you shouldn't have it. It shouldn't slide up and down on you. But uh, continuing on. We go down to the one and a half to one and a quarter slip, one and a half slip to one and a quarter threaded. And then to a 90 degree, one and a quarter threaded end and slip end on this side. Then a one and a quarter to a one inch slip, which goes to your water ram, or in this case, a one inch union that uh, I can just spin this off and take the whole thing away and work on it and don't have to do it right there by the creek. Okay, now the important things, I want to tell you why some of the reasons that I bought some of this stuff, it's important. Uh, this piece up here that goes into the top of the repair coupling, uh, it has a nice flat surface for this to mate against when the valve comes up. So when that comes up and slides in there, it has a good area surface area for that grommet, which we'll go over in just a second, to smack against and stop the water. On the bottom, the same thing. It has a nice wall where this can come down and stop against that. Usually it doesn't really actually get all the way to the bottom because the water pressure, when it goes down, it'll push it back up. Um, but you can put a grommet on here on the bottom of this. So when it hits, it's a little more padding on that. Uh, I think I have a grommet on mine. Now, uh, the grommets themselves, speaking of grommets, you find this these both in Lowe's. Uh, Home Depot will have these, but it does not have these. I've looked at Home Depots at least over here in Tennessee. I haven't found any. Um, these are incredible. They're rubber grommets. Just look for the half-inch rubber grommet. You'll find this in the drawer that says, Hard to Find Items. And if you go in the hardware section where they have all the nuts and bolts and all the drawers you pull out, they'll have actually pictures of grommets and they may even have a picture of this, but this is in the one that's by the grommets or by the rubber washers. And it says hard to find items, but these are like $1.70 and you get two of these in a package. These are just three eighths by one and a half inch, three eighths hole by one and a half inch. Uh, and man, these things, this is where it meets uh, the top part here and stops the water, it would take forever to wear this thing out. And they're only like $1.40 for two. For heaven's sakes, double them up, but I think they'll last forever. Okay, now to the all thread. Here's something very important. All right, this area right here is where this is gonna rest, where it stops right here. And when this is together, this is the size that you have to make your all thread, the length, all right? It has to come up to where, when it's all the way down sitting on the bottom, it has to be still inside of this 
one half inch barb fitting because if it's not it'll, it'll get below it and it'll lock its you know it might get below it and hinge on it and, and not be able to come back up and you don't want that so as long as it's coming down into this barb and it's you know a quarter way halfway up uh, when it's resting on the bottom now where you put these grommets I have the grommet with one half inch washers I'm holding them in place with these these uh, nuts right here, 3 8 inch nuts. And the reason I do uh, two on each side as opposed to a, like a lock nut, the lock nuts just take forever to turn, you know, and, and you have to kind of adjust these where you want them. And it's so much easier just to do that and be able to slide your washer up and down and then spin it back into place instead of having to try to grip this thing with a pair of pliers while you're turning the lock nut. So you just put these together and then after you get where you want, get them where you want, then you just lock these down and it's not going anywhere and just tighten the outside ones up and same thing for the top and bottom uh you want to make sure there's a good space between here and, and there's really no rhyme or reason whatever you like i mean you can this one doesn't fit this obviously i'm just using this as an example but uh i would usually this is where it would stop inside this fitting right here I would probably drop this maybe three, four inches down to where it has enough glide to where it slaps shut pretty hard. And uh, make sure you have enough wastewater holes here to where it's not hindering the water, pushing it out. It, it can go out real easy. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys can come up with something better, excellent. Make a video. Show me because I would love to see it. Again, I kind of did this because I need to be able to get to it and... With a tea that I had before, that sanitary tea was not pressurized, so uh, it, it eventually cracked because of the pressure in there. So I could use a regular tea, but I thought this would be cool. Put a 90 degree angle on it, and uh, that's it. So make sure that you have your all thread the right length. It can actually come out of here, you know, a foot. It doesn't matter. And you can put these wherever it's comfortable for you, but as long as it's stable down here and, and doesn't turn, which is why you keep it. The length where it gets up into this half inch barb. There you go. A, a video of the one that I have and show you how the wastewater, uh, when you put the wastewater holes in it, you can put it away from where you're working and not get wet. I also wanted to mention that uh, everything here was about 30 bucks. So you get a check valve. You can buy a, a copper check valve for $19, $20, but this one you'll be able to open up and if this thing wears out, you can just put another one on there and it, it works great. I just didn't like uh, the copper check valves because I just didn't like them. So, and I thought this would be awesome way to make another one. And let me go show you it working in action. It's over there across the creek. We're gonna walk over there. I just wanted to show you this beautiful, this beautiful view I got from this deck. What a great, great great creek so I'll head over there and show it to you all right so there